In the morning, I opened Twitter as I was scrolling. As most of you know, the deeper you scroll, the deeper the content gets. I scrolled for too long, and this is what happened. Man, I'm a skittle man. I'm a skittle man. I'm a skittle man. This rainbow. This rainbow. And I just woke up from my 8 p.m. nap, and guess what I have dreamt of? For some reason, the naps that you take to it during the day, it's... 90% likely that it's going to be a nightmare and my nightmare was Mr. Skittles, Mr. Bunny, Mr. Chocolate Man. It fucked up my mood so I realized why not make a video about it, fuck up your mood and inshallah give you nightmares coming in the coming few days. Are you, you don't want me to kiss you or what? I kissed her a couple of times, now she thinks she's the shit, she thinks she's a princess. Maybe. You're not that special, okay? You're, you, you are not that special, my friend. Backflip! Now, Sleepy Joe thought by signing the bill to cancel TikTok, ban TikTok, he would get rid of these kind of people. But I will tell you from now, there is no running away from them. These are, these are the guys who are addicted to the views. They, they got a taste of it. And no matter what you do, they will always create more channels on different platforms. There is no getting rid of these kind of people. You need to lock them up. Bring asylum, asylum, asylum back. Not gonna lie, I gotta give it to him. His username, it's kind of creative. I like, I like it. It's like my Mr. Hungry. But Mr. Hungry, the reason you are hungry is because you never finish the food. You put the food on your body instead of in your body. Today I'm going to be trying Cold Stone's Choco Taco that they now have available until May 5th. Apparently what he does is he posts a long ass video so he can get that money, get that RPM money from TikTok. Because apparently TikTok tries to kick out YouTube out of the game by paying the creator shit ton of money. So the more you scroll, he is eating it. Then all of a sudden, you are going to get a jump scare. Every day, this is how good this is. They need to have this every day. Happy the golden mile. Happy the golden mile. Happy. Megatron, imagine you're walking by the street and you see this guy is who puts all of this chocolate on his face. Look, look, look at his face. Imagine you walk past him. How will how will you react to this? She said she will cringe. And honestly, out of all the videos I watched on his channel, unfortunately, for research purposes, one question overtakes every single question. How the fuck, how long does it take to clean this shit? Did he give up on his car? He doesn't give a shit. The amount of chocolate food, whatever is, the, the stains that are in his car. The amount of times, each time he does this, he needs to go to the car wash. Now, Mr. Hungry didn't start his career like this. He actually started his career just eating food in front of the camera, doing SSMR, AMAR, uh, these kind of things, you know, with the noise by eating the food. He does food reviews, but it was not doing well for him. Max he was getting was 100, 200K on TikTok. And after a little while, like the most of the people I cover on this channel, he decided to think outside the box. And what was outside the box? I don't know if he copied it for someone else or he came up with it. Overall, it's just a stupid idea that gets a stupid amount of views. That's what the internet is about. It's not something you see, you're like, oh my god, uh, that's why I paid the internet for. It's just, it's, it's stupid. Now, we've seen videos, for example, like people pouring too much chocolate on somewhere and they're like, sugar, chocolate. You remember that guy, right? And then he gave up and he, he started, people were like, you're wasting food. People are dying for food because they, they don't have anything and... This is the time he decided to be wholesome and cook for everyone out there and he stopped wasting food. But the problem with these kind of people is the second they go back to doing their normal content, the views are going to be low. So what did what so what do they gotta do? They gotta put it in somehow. They decide to go back to what they were doing, becoming a milkshake hulk, having 6.9 million views on it. This is what bro is going to give us a tutorial on how he gets it done. He even does behind the scenes on his YouTube channel if you're interested into doing these kind of content. He puts all of it on his face. The process is really interesting and fun. But this is what happens when you try everything on the internet and you realize you have no talent. So you just put that whatever the shit you have you're eating or you're reviewing, review, reviewing, reviewing, you put it on your body and you just start saying the name of that food. 
But one thing these creators forget is that internet is forever. You want to do corn? It is going to be that forever. Good luck finding a husband or a wife or whatever. You want to put food on your body, embarrass yourself in front of everyone and you get you know millions of views, people laughing at you, not with you. Good luck to your future wife and your kids respecting you. Bro, the kids, again, like I said, all these people who make like this, if they have kids in the future, they're going to get bullied. They're like, this is your dad? Your dad was a TikToker who used to put food all over his body? Imagine he forgets. He, he does the whole thing. You know, he puts chocolate on his body, then fucks up his car and everything, and then he realizes he forgot pressing record. That'll be funny, I'm not gonna lie. I imagine he he gotta be depressed for this. You you can't be like, oh my god, I got a hit today, viral content. But honestly, this is the perfect prank. If you wanna jump scare or scare your either your children, your son, your daughter, either your little cousins, your nephews, just show them this guy's video, let them watch it through as this guy is describing the audio shake, and all of a sudden he's going to be like, oh my audio shake, oh my audio shake, oh my. Fuck, how does he do it? And mission will be accomplished. They will cry for days and have nightmare for months. Honestly, he's doing his thing. Apparently, it's doing good for him. Whenever he puts food on his body, I wish him he recovers, you know, fast from being hungry. I hope he gets full one day because the future does not look bright to him, even though people are going to get bored of him get putting food on his body. I hope he comes to a realization that, he, you know, he needs to get a real job and he shouldn't, he can't put food on his body forever and people, you know, just to, for him to pay his bills. Now, I'm not trying to give him any ideas or anything, but what would actually be entertaining and funny to watch is if he covers himself with a lot of food and he goes and he scares children. That would be something I'll fucking watch. That will be so satisfying. He will hide behind the wall. His cameraman will be there as well. Kid walks by. I'm a big spinny. I'm a big spinny. Fuck, that would be... <coughs> that would be hilarious to watch. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about this haiwan. I've been thinking about making a video about him. But yeah. Another update with everything. The reason I haven't posted anything for the past two days is because I have very big plans with a couple of content creators, uh, YouTubers, TikTokers. And we are going to be the sidemen of Middle East. We are going to be called the expats. We already shot a video and it is going to be uploaded. I have to just edit it and upload it on Tuesday. So stay tuned for that. And from now on, every night, I'm going to be going live on TikTok. I'm broke as fuck. And I'm going to be one of those. Send Lion, send Galaxy, send, send. And if they don't send anything, I will shame them for being poor. So yeah, if you want to come through, <laughs> come through TikTok. <laughs> oh yeah, take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.